Hi, my loves. Welcome to episode three of Bloom series in light of spring. I am Belle, and I will be your yogi guide for today's practice. Today, we would be embracing the unwavering spirit of a stem, or stalk of a plant, if you may. So, without further ado, come onto the mat, and let's begin our practice. For today's practice, we would be needing a blanket or a towel, so long as it covers to your shoulder length, it's fine. Grab one of those, and we're gonna be needing two block as well, sturdy blocks. Once you're there, get them near you, and come to sit in the middle of the mat. Come to sit in between both feet. Coming into your hero pose here. If you feel a little funky to the knee, you may come back and return to your cross-legged seat, or option to also prop your blanket that you prepared earlier underneath your hips to level yourself up. Whatever feels best for you today. Focus on honoring and listening to your body today. Once you're there, grab the two blocks earlier. Form a T shape behind you. Horizontal block being for where you rest your head later on when you recline, and the vertical block to be placed a distance away from the horizontal block, neck distance apart, as we place them appropriately. Come to lie down and slowly recline down, walking back with your palms, lowering down to your forearm, and adjusting first the vertical block to be in between your shoulder blades here, through the upper torso, and the horizontal block to be right beneath your head. Once you find your most comfortable position here, be mindful of pinching of nerve. If you feel pinching of nerve, walk out and readjust your block. Wherever you're at, come to find your most comfortable position, and when you are there, spread both palms open to your side. Allow yourself to melt, shoulders melting towards the ground, chest opening as you close your eyes and savor this opening throughout your front body here. We are going to be staying here for a few breaths, so close your eyes, trust practice, trust me, and allow yourself to breathe here, deepening your breath, anchoring your attention to the mat, to the present. Allowing all the tension that you carry to your shoulder throughout the day to melt here. Feeling all your worries melting away from your shoulders all the way to the ground. Allowing any pent up emotion for today to slide away from your hips all the way to the ground. Allowing a form of release here, whatever that means to you today.
Give yourself permission to release. Returning to your core self and allow the rest to melt away as you slowly and gently walk out of the pose just as how you come into the pose. Take your time and place the props to the side. So really choosing to honor wherever we are at today in the practice. Come to the center of the mat, facing the long edge of the mat. Place both palms to the outside of the mat here. Come to your tabletop, so shoulder above wrist, hips above your knees, tucking all toes in, and coming into hovering tabletop for three rounds. Anchoring through your feet, lifting both knees up for three, two, one, and lower down. Great, two more rounds. Inhale in, one breath, anchor, and exhale, lift for three, two, one, and lower down. Noticing a gentle fire through your core now. One final round, lifting up for three, for two. For one, lower down. Remembering that connection to the core here. On your next round, come to lift up now, lifting through both knees, connecting to the core as you reach your right knee across to the left elbow for 10, 9, 8, 7, pressing away from the ground, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, great, lower down your knees. Now remembering that twist, come to hover on your tabletop again and this time, we're gonna lift to our left palm and kick your right foot across towards the short edge of the mat, towards your left side. Hovering for three, for two, for one, that's it, lower down, hips to square to the back of the mat, right leg remains straightened, left knee remain bent here. We're gonna grab hold of our right calf or our right foot with both our palms, opening through our chest here and stay here in this heron variation or if you want a little fire through the core, lift up your left foot to hover coming into a boat variation here come to puff up through the chest for three for two engage through the core for one release right leg to the ground and allow your left knee to fall to the side left foot to meet your right inner thigh here slight bend through your right knee and we're gonna come into half butterfly forward fold lengthen through the spine before you slowly crawl forward and allow yourself to melt down into your fall. Option for a blanket underneath your right knee here. Option to introduce a generous bend to the right knee to allow a belly to die connection. One deep breath. Exhale, slowly walk yourself out. Guiding your left knee back up, planting your left foot and allow your right arm to come to hug your left knee as you trace your left arm towards the back. Arriving into a half lot of fish variation here. Lengthening through the spine, chest remain puffing up, shoulders draw back, allowing that twist to come naturally without forcing. Great. Exhale, coming back to center here. Lowering your left knee and allow your left foot to reach towards the back here as you straighten through your right foot, planting your right foot to pivot 90 degree here, facing the long edge of the mat. As you come to support yourself with your left arm and reach your right arm up and across towards the front of the mat. 
coming into your gate pose variation, allowing and introducing a stretch to your right side body. If you notice yourself collapsing to the left shoulder, press away from the ground. Allow yourself to lift, opening and trusting that hip forward to introduce stretch to your quads. Great. Once you find your balance, allow your right foot maybe to hover away from the ground. Stay here or we come to pulse for 10, for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, you can do it, 3, 2, 1, stay hovering as you plant your right arm down to the ground, swivel your left foot back towards the back of the mat, facing the front of the mat now, allowing your right knee to come towards your chest and planting your right foot in between both palms coming to arrive in your low lunge. Come to prop both arms on your front thigh here, allowing your hips to square to the front of the mat and take this time to introduce a little opening throughout your hips, your inner thigh, your hip flexor. Great. Exhale, lower down, planting both palms to the ground. Allow your right foot to reach back, arriving in your plank position as you shift forward and down into Chaturanga and lower down to the ground. Hugging both elbow in. Come to rise up into your cobra or baby cobra, wherever you're at. Shoulders draw back, chest open. Next, you'll lower it down. A few more rounds on your own. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale, melting down. Inhale, rising up. Next, heel down. One last one. Inhale, rise up. Savoring that moment of lift. Exhale down. Great. Hugging both elbows in, tucking both toes, lifting your knees. Come back up to your plank pose before you slowly lift your hips up and back into downward dog. Allow yourself to pedal through here. Lifting through the hip, grounding through the heels, or at least the sensation of grounding through the heels. Pressing away from the ground, lengthening through the spine, and eventually come to find a stillness in your downward dog. One deep cleansing breath here. Hmm. On your next breath in, kick your right leg up towards the sky. Bend to the right knee. Come to stack your hips one above another here, opening through that hips. Before you allow your right knee to come towards the long edge of the mat. And here we are, back to our tabletop facing the long edge of the mat. So palms outside of the mat here. Going straight into our tabletop hover twist here. Once you're ready, lift up both knees to hover and come to crunch. This time your left towards your right elbow for 10, 9, 8, firing to the core. Five, that's it. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it there. Lift up to your right arm and kick your left foot two towards the front of the mat. Three, two, one. Lower hips down, hips to square to front of the mat. Both arms to hug your left calf this time or your left foot. And come to your heron pose. You may stay here or you may lift your right foot to hover here in your boat variation. Remembering to lift up through that chest here, engage through the core for three, for two, 
for one lower down opening your right knee towards the side coming into your half butterfly as you slowly crawl forward lengthen through the spine before you fold in bend through the left knee generously if you need to here options are still available coming to stay here for one last breath awesome exhale slowly crawl back up lifting your right knee up hugging your right knee with your left arm tracing your right arm towards the back half a lot of fishes here introducing a gentle twist through the spine lift up through the spine for one breath in puffing through that chest exhale lower it down grounding through your right palm allow your hips to truss up and swivel your right foot towards the back of the mat straightening through the left leg here rooting through the side of your left foot as you reach your left arm up and go across towards the back of the mat coming into your gate pose variation opening through the left side body here pressing away from the ground for three, two, one. Great. Once you find your steady foundation, lift up the left foot to hover. And we're gonna pulse for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lowering your left palm down to the ground, swivel to face the back of the mat, your left foot remain hovering before reaching your left knee towards your chest and come to plant your left foot in between both palms, lifting up into your low lunge. Notice that your hips are squared towards the short edge of the mat here. Lowering both palms down as you send your left foot to meet the back. And slowly shift forward and down, elbows hugging in, come down to the ground. This time, palms away from the ground as you lift to the chest, come up for five, and down, engaging to your back. Four, three, two, one, hold for three, for two, for one, lower down through our toes lift to the knees come up to your plank before you send your hips up and back into downward facing dog paddle it through take this moment to catch your breath here to breathe in reconnect with your core hmm breath in kick your left foot up this time bend to your left knee come to stack your hip one above another opening through that hips and exhale lower it down arriving in a tabletop position here coming into a puppy pose variation coming down to your forearm crawl forward slightly before you connect both palms and allow your heart to melt to the ground palms above your head here hips remain above your knees allowing that opening to happen to your chest to your front body through the armpit here and take a moment here to just breathe and expand to slowly melt towards the ground final breath in exhale slowly come out of the pose arrive in your forearm before you come to prop up back into your tabletop Coming through our side plank now, lift to both knees, allow both heels to fall towards your left side. 
feeling your right arm up towards the sky, pressing away from the ground. Great. Coming to a star pose as we lift our right foot away from the ground. Pulse for three, for two, for one. Hover to your right foot. Bend to the right knee as you lunge forward into your high lunge. Maintaining low on the ground, grab a block to place it in front of you. Palm distance away from your right leg. As you straighten to your right leg, lift your left foot up, left hip to stack above your right hip. Rooting to your right palm on the block or on the ground as you peel your left arm up towards the sky. Coming into a half moon here, shining towards the left side. One breath in, exhale, lower both palms down, bending through your left knee, squaring your hips as you drive up into your half tadasana. One breath in, finding balance, stemming from your right foot here. You may come to your tree pose by guiding your left foot. I'll show you to your front view. Guiding your left foot to plant on the inner corner of your inner thigh here. Or you may place it on your right shin. Wherever you're at, come to honor where your body's at and arrive in your most steady tree pose rooting to your right foot, lifting to your torso, peeling both arms all the way to the sky, and once you find your stand, you may bend towards the left side here slightly, playing around with that balance, having a little fun. Okay, exhale, coming back to center, kick your left foot back, squaring to the hips, Coming into your warrior tree as you tilt forward, engaging to the core. Finding that balance for three, for two, for one. Lower both palms down, lower your left foot and send your right foot back. Coming into plank as you shift forward and down to the ground. Elbows hugging in here, lifting both palms away from the ground. Coming into a full locust pose as you lift up. Peeling, engaging through your back, lifting both feet and palms away from the ground for three, down, for two, and down, and for one, hold. Exhale, release, coming back to your plank as you push back up. This time, allow both heels to fall towards your right side. Finding your steady ground and lift your left foot away, coming to your star pose, pulsing for three, for two, for one. Great. Bend to your left knee and lunge forward into your high lunge. Block option is available for your half moon, so place your block and adjust accordingly before you peel your right arm towards the sky, rooting through your left palm. Stacking your right hip above your left this time. If you notice yourself collapsing into the block, see if you can lift yourself away, forming a little space. Great. Exhale, lower down both palms, right knee to bend and hover, reaching up into your half tadasana, squaring your hips towards the front. Stemming from your left foot this time. Guide your right foot to place on the inner corner of your inner thigh or your shin, your calf, wherever you're at, even your ankle. And peel both arm up towards the sky, lifting torso away from your hips, wherever that means to you, and tilt towards the right side. Playing around a little with your balance here. Come back up to center, coming back in your half to dasana before you send your right foot back, tilting forward. Palms to connect at heart center in your warrior tree. Three, two, one. Lower both palms down to the ground, send both feet back into plank pose before you shift forward and down. Coming to the ground. 
Again, locus, both palms away from the ground, engaging to your back and your glutes as you lift up to both feet and both arms for three, lower down for two, that's it, for one, hold for three, two, one, lower down, all right, now bending to both knees, see if you can grab hold of the front of both feet here, arriving into our boat pose, flexing through both feet or pointing through both feet, option is yours. As you engage to your glutes and lift up both thighs away from the ground, kicking back, lifting your shoulders, your front body, your chest away from the ground as well, engaging to not only the back but also actively kicking back, coming to your bow pose. Hold for three, for two, for one, that's it. Lower down to the ground, planting both palms to the side, elbows hugging in. Push yourself back up into tabletop. Before you send both feet in front of you, come to sit. Once you find yourself adjusted accordingly, allow both feet to hover away from the ground. You may grab hold of your back of your thigh, come into your boat pose. Hold for three, for two, for one. Lower down gently all the way to the ground. Allow yourself this moment to relax. You may stay here for a moment while I demonstrate shoulder stand before attempting on your own. Don't worry, we will be attempting a few more rounds. So you may just stay here and observe how I do it here because this is a very vulnerable one for the neck. So it's better to observe once and attempt it later on. Grab your blanket, place it underneath your shoulders here right underneath both shoulders make sure both shoulders are covered and once you're there come to lie down allow both elbows to hug in and slowly allow both arms to guide your hips up to hover guiding both arms up towards your back here all fingertips pointing up elbows hugging in and you come to your shoulder stand here, so knees remain bent at first before you attempt to straighten one towards the sky followed by another, all the while engaging to your core and your back. Rooting through your shoulders here, aligning your hips to stack above your shoulder. You may send both feet up to the sky or you may come to your plow pose by reaching both feet across to your head wherever you're at when you come down and out of the pose bend to both knees and slowly allow your arms to guide yourself down coming down just as how you come and arrive at the pose here Mindfully allow your hips to slowly come down to the ground before you walk both feet and knees come to knock. So that's it. That's how you do your shoulder stand here safely. So when you're ready, feel free to come to attempt your own here. Placing a blanket underneath your shoulder elbows hugging in, lift up to your hip, allow both arms to guide your back and eventually hips to stack above your shoulder, bend to both knees, you may send your feet across and over your head here or you may straighten both feet up towards the sky option to also have a little fun with 
what we learned in episode 1, locus pose. So if you're familiar with locus seating, feel free to incorporate this into your shoulder stand too. Wherever you're at, be mindful of your neck here, making sure that you're anchoring to your shoulder instead of your neck. And when you exit, slowly allow your arms to guide your back down as you inch lower and lower to the ground before walking both feet out to the side of the mat and knees come to knock, allowing your lower back to rest here. So have a little fun, attempt it in whatever feels best for your body today. So really remembering, it's all about honoring your body today. And mindfully exit the pose wherever you're at. Knees come to knock. For a moment, take one deep breath. And exhale, slowly walk your feet together, hugging both knees towards your chest. And come to allow both knees to fall to one side, shoulders remain grounded here. Knees may be away from the ground, wherever you're at, come to close your eyes and take one deep breath. Gaze towards the opposite direction. And exhale, come back to center and allow both knees to fall towards the other side. Gazing towards the opposite direction here. Allowing yourself to savor in this moment as we slow down and come to the end of the practice. Draw both knees back to center. Adjust yourself if you need to accordingly. As you send both feet away to the corners of the mat. And allow both palms to fall to your side naturally, palms facing up. Close your eyes as you lie down and savor the savasana on your blanket. to slowly breathe and seep in the nutrients from the practice earlier. In this space, maybe take this opportunity to set an intention for the week ahead. What do you want to carry forth in everything you do on and off the mat and tell yourself I commit to my intention I choose to commit to my intention every day just like the stem stemming from the roots no matter how strong the wind blows embrace that unwavering spirit my love and carry forth through the day ahead thank you all for joining me i hope you have a wonderful practice and i hope to see you soon in your next practice again on the mat from my heart to yours, namaste. Bye.